What's up, fuckers? My name is Alexander Hamilton, and welcome back to the most miserable thing I've ever experienced in a video game. What's this thing say? It's strangely silent because the dude's not here. Yeah, Undertale Genocide. Welcome back to Undertale Genocide. <coughs> Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. <coughs> hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> oh no, monster kid. I'm so sorry. 18 left. Oh no. I am extremely not looking forward to this. Wait, where's the rocks? There were falling rocks earlier. Where'd they go? That's odd. Undyne. Oh no! Pyrus isn't coming to make his daily report because he's dead. I killed him. Do it! Kill me! Do it! Throw the spear! Just kill me, I'm a monster! Take me out before I kill anybody else! I'm not entirely sure if I'm gonna get through the whole waterfall chapter in this video, because I've heard the Undyne fight actually gets pretty difficult. Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! She was just standing there waiting forever, and then you just... Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys! And the puzzles are already solved. Oh no. Oh! The fucking encounter thing is a happy face. I'm sorry! Sorry! Washua. Oh no. I'm so sorry, little buddy! Washua has revolted at its own wound. So terrible. They're all strangely silent. You walk in a mold small. Oh no. I'm sorry! Mold small is ruminating. I feel so awful. They were so innocent. I, I never did nothing to deserve this. Washua and Aaron appear. Oh no. I'm sorry! 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 104 EXP. Uh, I don't care. So bad. Oh yeah, there was a segment that I cut out of the last video because I was talking for a very long time but I was like stuttering and stumbling over my words so much you had no idea what the hell I was saying. I will continue that thought in a moment. I'm sorry! So as I was saying, the whole concept behind this being like, um, this makes you feel absolutely awful, good, it's supposed to, reminds me of this, um, short story by Ray Bradbury. It was, it was published during the Cold War, and you know, many people all over the world, but, you know, important to the, the story America, 
was living with the fear that at, at any moment a single bus full of politically powerful nut jobs could, could kick off the end of the goddamn world and there was absolutely nothing anybody could do to prevent it. Like duck and cover, locate the nearest fallout shelter, like in the end none of it would really matter. So there were a lot of nuclear apocalypse apocalypse stories. He's exploring just the con There were a lot of nuclear apocalypse stories that were written because of that. And um, this story was one of them. I just realized I didn't actually say the name of it. There Will Come Soft Rains by Ray Bradbury. I already mentioned it was by Ray Bradbury. It's basically, it, it's a story about a smart house trying to keep up its functioning, but it doesn't realize that a nuclear apocalypse has happened and that the family is trying to take care of is all super, super dead. And the only living family member left is the starving, thing disease and cancerous family dog who makes it inside the house before immediately keeling over and dying. It's the most exhaustingly hopeless thing I've ever read and it sapped all the joy out of my brain for a solid week. Because, you know, that was kind of the point. A lot of authors were writing stories like that with the hopes that, um, you know, crippling existential crisis, you know, staring at a wall for a week contemplating your own mortality would keep these, you know, political bigwigs from murdering everybody. I don't know. It's just like, it doesn't have like a, a lot in common. It was just like the concept of this makes me feel absolutely awful in every way. Good. It's supposed to. It just reminded me of that. And also, you know, sapping all the joy from my brain. How many freaking monsters are there in this one room? I know, this genocide run feels like it was almost made as a response to all the, like, Facebook moms saying, Video games cause violence. Playing FPS games turns kids into school shooters. It's, it's almost like Toby Fox heard that and was like, Oh yeah? Not only am I gonna make a game and where you're encouraged to be a pacifist and show mercy and not fight or hurt anybody if if the player does decide I had to kill all the characters in the game. Every single thing in the game is designed to make them feel absolutely terrible. And I know I promised I would save a lot of this analysis for the very end, but you know, though another reason this was put in was that um, no kill runs were beginning to become really popular in games around the time that this was released. Haste. It was like, you had the option. It's like, normally like game genres that would involve a lot of death, like, you know, first person shooter games or like, like um, I believe around the time this was released, there was also a Hitman game that was released. Or it's like, Technically, you can do a pacifist route of sorts, where you don't kill anybody except your intended target, but nothing really changes about the game. Like, the only thing that really changes is you get an achievement and that's it. Other than that, the game is pretty much exactly the same. And at this game, the pacifist and genocide runs are so completely different. Eh, like all the music, every encounter, every bit of dialogue. Oh, just like the pacifist and genocide runs are so completely different. Almost every single screen is different in the genocide run. And, you know, just this you know, response to a growing trend in gaming where it's like, technically you don't have to kill people, but nothing's really gonna change. It's still gonna be functionally the exact same game with no major changes, except for an achievement. And this game just totally flips that on its head. Four left. I'm just gonna move on. And here comes Undyne. This segment again. Debating whether or not I'm gonna show this because I'm pretty sure this gameplay segment is gonna be the same as in the past of this run.
monster kid. Should have just let her kill me. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face again. Are you unlucky? Just a little to the left. I'm sure, we'll see her again. I'm just dreading it because I know there's going to be a moment coming up where I'm going to attack him. I'm going to have to attack him. I'm just dreading it. Oh, nice cream guy was going to be up here. Alright, here was the uh, ballet shoes. Yeah, the ballet shoes. Up in attack seven. Hmm. My current thing has attack five. Use the bell issues. Guessing it's gonna change up the attack patterns. Well, my attack patterns, anyway. I feel so sad. Oh, this is where Onion Sun is. Probably hiding from me. Yeah. Onion Sound was hiding from me. Shiren! <laughs> oh no, poor Shiren! No, 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 I don't want to hurt Shiren! I'm sorry! What? <laughs> Oh, I'm so awful. Hey, statue. Happen- is it- Can I still give the statue an umbrella? Not getting an umbrella, I deserve to be wet. You can't hold an umbrella either. If you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. I feel so bad for this kid. I know I'm gonna have to attack him in the future. I just I don't wanna hurt him. He's such a sweet kid. My mouse is on screen. I just don't want to hurt him. He's such a sweet kid. You shouldn't help me. Ow. Yo, try being a little less rough. <laughs> anyway, I'll look for another way through. Later. reason I thought I was heading into the Undyne fight. <laughs>
Should have just left left him there to die, Azrael. You were helping a monster. A real monster. Three left. Oh, yeah, the astronaut food. This dude is about to attack me. Mad dummy! <laughs> it's just like you to run away! I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy! My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until you came along! Not not only did your actions cause them to leave their home, but now all of their neighbors are gone too! Despicable, despicable, despicable! You're the worst person I've ever met! I've never been more mad! Grr, my mannequin levels are going off the charts! This... this feeling... Eureka! 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 Human, that moment of unbridled emotion, it allowed me to finally fuse with my body. I am fully corporeal now, my lifelong dream realized. In return, I guess I won't stomp you. How's that sound? Glad dummy lets you go. Left. I am the worst person ever. What happens if I just walk, go up to Undyne's house? Doesn't seem like anyone's home. <sighs> Napstub looks gone. The snails are all gone. There's no snail race. Everything's gone. Hey, Gerson. Crab apple heals 18 HP, looks like a crab. 10 HP, speed up and ba battle. Ooh, cloudy glasses. Armor defense. It would give me left defense but I'd be invincible longer. Torn notebook. Weapon. Two weapon attack. Invincible longer. Yeah, that's kind of terrible. Good riddance. Wait a minute. Fate. Long ago, Asgore and I agreed that escaping would be pointless since once we left, humans would just kill us. I was a little betrayed when he eventually changed his mind. But now I think maybe he was right too. Because after all, even though we never escaped, a human's killing us anyway. Ain't that right? Threaten him? I have lived too long to be afraid of something like you. Try it, kiddo. I know you can't hear. Wahaha. <laughs> Knowledge like that is the only reason I've survived so long. Fight? Eh? Fight you? Nah, I'm not a hero. Never was. And besides, these old bones aren't fit for fighting, anywho. One attack from you, and then I'd well. At least by talking to you, I've bought enough time for some of them to escape. Hero. I'm not a hero, but I know there's someone out there. Someone who'll never give up trying to do the right thing, no matter what. There's no prophecy or legend about anyone like that. It's just something I know is true. And that- and someone like that will strike you down. Looks like it's back to grinding. I don't remember if I can get encounters here, but I'll grind anyway. I absolutely can. Special enemy Tebby appears. <laughs> Not another dog! I'm assuming that's what they are. I don't know, maybe they're cats? I don't know. I don't want to hurt you. Sorry! Only two left. And it's just... Undyne. Should've made myself some tea before I started recording. I'm gonna have to do her rough gravelly voice. That's gonna destroy my throat. 
It's gotta be the last one. <laughs> Old small is very normal. <sighs> I killed him before he could even turn into a mole pig. I got him all, didn't I? Determination. Yep. Looks like all that's left is undone. But nobody came. You know what? There's no point in showing everything else. It's all gonna be the same. Just skipping forward to the Undyne fight. Behind you. Undyne. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body! Fucking take it. I don't want it anymore. I have no fight left in me. I have nothing to fight for. <sighs> take him away. Save him from me. Pro protect him from me. <laughs> forward to this. Yo! Yo. Undyne told me to stay away from you. She says you... you hurt a lot of people. But yo, that's not true, right? Yo, why won't you answer me? Uh, and what's with that weird expression? Oh, oh man, man, my heart's pounding right out of my chest. What would Undyne do? Yo, you b better s stop right where you are, because if you want to hurt anyone else, you're, you're going to have to get through me first. And, and, in my way. He's just a child! <laughs> He's just a sweet, innocent kid! <laughs> no! Undyne! Undyne! You, you're hurt! Hurt? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? Undyne, I... I'll take care of this! Get out of here! <laughs> it's nothing. No, somehow, with just one hit, I'm already. already. damn it. Papyrus. Alphys. Asgore. Just like that, I... I failed you. No. My body... It feels like it's splitting apart. Like any instant I'll scatter into a million pieces. But... Deep... Deep in my soul, there's a burning feeling I can't describe a burning feeling that won't let me die this isn't just about monsters anymore is it if you get past me you'll you'll destroy them all won't you monsters humans everyone everyone's hopes everyone's dreams vanquished in an instant but I won't let you do that 
right now, everyone in the world, I can feel their hearts beating as one. And we all have one goal. To defeat you, human. No, whatever you are, for the sake of the whole world, I, Undyne, will strike you down! Holy fucking shit! You're, You're gonna, gonna have, have to try, try a little, little harder, harder than that! The heroine appears. Wow. Okay, before we get into the battle, can we just take a minute to appreciate that? That just epic monologue pitting her as the true hero against me. I'm the villain. I'm the bad guy. And she's the hero destined to defeat me. <sighs> we gonna regret this, but Undying the Undying. Check. 99 attack, 99 defense. Hero reformed by her own determination to save Earth. Holy fucking shit! What the hell? Well, there goes half my health. What the hell? What is even happening here? This is gonna be a tough fight. Okay, I'm back. Um, I went to speedrun.com and I watched a couple speedrunners do this. And I took notes on Undyne's attack patterns. So hopefully this will help me. Okay, it's currently 7.30 p.m. If I cannot beat her by 9 o'clock, I'm just giving up for the night. Alright, so for this first one, it's up for three arrows, and then it's, okay. Right, down, left, up, left, down, right, down, left, up. Okay, okay. Holy shit! Okay, this next one, it's, okay. For a lot, of, a lot of these, the attack patterns are fairly simple, but the timing is very, very tricky and takes a while to get down. Okay, so it's left, right, left for two, right for two, two, left, right for two, then just left, right, left, right, left. Okay. Shit. Fuck that up. Okay, now this is the one I always screw up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna heal before I do this. Left, up, down. Right, left, up for three. Down, right, left, up. Down for two, up for two, left for two. The hell? Is this- is that one random? Is that one random? This one, my instruction is just move in circles. Uh, I think I can survive one more round. Okay, just gotta cheese the gap right here. I didn't see any speedrunners trying that strategy. Okay. This one should be fairly easy. Okay. Left up, right down. Left, right, left, up, down. What the hell? What the fuck any fuck? It's gonna take me a little bit to get the like memorization and timing down, okay? It's like, okay, now I know what's going to happen. Now it's just a matter of getting it out of my head and into my muscle memory. If that makes any sense, probably not.
What the hell? Somehow I didn't die there. Just, I memorize it, and I think, okay, I got this. Then I actually press the thing, and all the information just leaves my brain. Okay, this one just goes in circles. I can survive this one. And that trees the gap. Left, up, right, down, left, right, left, up, down. Okay. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. How about them apples? Okay, yeah, this one's easy. This one's easy, then I take a shit ton of damage. I just spit all over my microphone. Okay, this one's simple, just left, up. Okay, it's just left, up, over and over again until the yellow ones start showing up, then it's right down. Holy fucking shit, I just did that! Okay, okay, okay. Next is... Okay, I think this is the, uh, circle of arrows. I think this is just- I think this next one is the circle of spheres and closing me, because the next one I just have written down, try your best. <sighs> yup. Fuck. Shit. Piss. Dicks. Cock. Somehow I didn't die. Okay, this next one's the same thing again. Okay, I'm healed. Give me that astronaut food. Somehow it didn't die. Okay. Something tells me I should heal before this next one. Okay. Left, down, right, up. Left, down, right, up. Left, right, down. Okay. Le left, down, right, up. Okay, I forgot that one had yellow arrows. I forgot the one had yellow arrows. Spears. D d d you fucking know what I'm talking about, okay? You get my gist. You get the fucking point already. I don't know why I'm talking in a New Yorkish accent. I don't fucking know. I'm walking here. <sighs> I just suddenly turned into Yancey. I wanna be free. Leave me in luxury. Okay, okay, okay. This one's the easy one. Okay. I got thrown off because I wasn't ready. I'm good at games. Shut up. What the hell? I just don't... Is that one fucking random? Is that one fucking random? That is bullshit. Okay, so that one I can't rely on shit. Just fucking cross that shit out. Because I can't rely on shit because that one's fucking random. This one I know how to do. That one's easy. Now this is the bullshit one. Shut up! Fuck you, I'm good at games. Okay, do not die here, Alex. Left, down, right, up. Left, down, right, up. Left, right, down. Left, down, right. Left, down, right, up. Left, down, right, up. Okay. The, the yellow one threw me off. La- Okay, get it through your thick fucking skull, Alexander. Left, down, right, up. The first two attacks I have completely down pat. I say as I take a shit ton of damage from the second attack. And this is the bullshit one. One HP, holy shit. 
Left, down, right, up, left, down. <sighs> left, down, right, up. Why is that pattern so hard for me to memorize? It is! It is fucking random! Fuck! That is bullshit! Okay, I hate random shit in video games. I hate it when it's not just up to pure skill. I like it- Okay, if it's a predictable pattern that you can memorize and get with enough time and effort for, like, it'll eventually get into your muscle memory, and you can have that one on lock. And after that, it's just a matter of try and er error. And if I still mess it up, that I can deal with, because then, and the only thing I can do is just get good, keep practicing, get better. So all these attacks where it's the same pattern every time, and I mess it, it up, that I can take, because that is a failure of me as a gamer. Well, when it's fucking random, I'm just battling the fucking RNG of the game, that's bullshit! That's frustrating. I hate it when it's not up to pure gamer skill. Hell, I hate it. I fucking hate it when it's just fucking random. There's no predictable pattern. There's no 100% guaranteed way to get past it. It's just fucking random. You're just battling the fucking random number generator within the code of the game. It's bullshit. It's frustrating. It takes you out of the experience and makes you angry. <laughs> Enough with the random bullshit. I've already spent half an hour on this. It is eight o'clock. Left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up. Okay, I mostly got it. Okay, oh my god, I actually got past that one. Okay, so this next one, okay, the attack pattern is fairly simple, but I have a feeling the um, timing is gonna get kind of hard. It's just left, right, up, left, right, down, left, right, up, left, right, down. Fuck it, I'm gonna attack. Right up, left, right, down, left, right, up, left, right, down. Okay, I got farther. I got farther. I still died, but I got farther. I'm done. I'm just done for the night. I'm fucking, I'm just. I'm done. 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 Okay, I know I said I was done for the night, but you know, I know I can get this with enough practice. Fuck. Shut up, Asgore. So, um, I have spent a collective four and a half hours across two days trying to beat this boss fight. And at this point, I just don't think I can do it. It's like, call me a scrubber, loser, tell me to get good all you want in the comments. But honestly, I just don't care anymore. Like, I've spent so much time on this and I've gotten so frustrated to the point where I just, I don't care at this point. I just don't care. So, uh, so my solution for this is gonna be a, a group of modders created a mod for this game that would, that they call debug mode. It's not 
the actual debug mode that the game devs use when building the game, but they, they call it debug mode. Hey, this mod allows you to use, like, just essentially cheats. Let's just call them what they are. It allows you to cheat at the game to make it easier. I believe the initial intent of this wasn't just to make the game easier. I'm pretty sure it was, um, like, to make the game easier to play for people who have, like, disabilities or don't have good hand-eye coordination or can't have, like, the lightning-fast reactions that other players do to make it still, you know, playable and fun for them. So I was a little conflicted on it, so on whether or not I want to use that. So I put up a poll on my Instagram saying, should I cheat or should I just quit and not make a let's play? Cause I legitimately don't think there's any way for me to get past her legitimately. And the overwhelming vote was for me to just use debug mode. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm, I'm not like gonna download the mod and use cheats to beat her and then lie to you guys about it. If I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna be honest about it. So yeah, I'm gonna download the mod and hope I don't destroy my save file and have to do it all over again from the start for a second time. Okay, I installed the mod. Here's hoping it didn't corrupt my save. Eh. Oh shit, volume. Okay. Okay, everything looks to be all right. Oh, there's a number up in the corner. That wasn't there before. Okay, I'm back here. Gonna test if it worked. Okay, it worked. All right, let's just get this over with. Just insult me all you want in the comments. I'm just, I'm only doing this for the video, okay? If, it, if I wasn't making a Let's Play series, I would never even be doing the genocide run. I had absolutely zero desire to do this. <sighs> Gotta sit through his whole thing and her entire monologue. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do, uh, pressing one halves the game's speed so you can hit easier. Okay. Okay, and pr okay. and pressing delete gives me 99 health. So let's do this. Okay, this is definitely going to be it. This is going to be the end of the fight. <sighs> Damn, Damn it. it. So even that, that power it wasn't, wasn't enough. <laughs> if you, if you think I'm gonna give up hope, you're wrong. Cause I've got my friends behind me. Alphys told me that she would watch me fight you. And if anything went wrong, she would evacuate everyone. But now she's called Asgore and told him to absorb the six human souls. And with that power, this world will live on! And there she goes. I just... I've just spent so much time trying this that I'm just completely numb at this point. I just don't even care anymore. It's just sucked all the emotion out of me, and now I'm just... numb. Hotland sign is off. Sands isn't here. Nobody's here. Forty left. Oh. Put that up so I can't go down there. The river person? Tra -la -la. I forgot you don't encounter the river person until you get to Hotland. Well, that's gonna be the end of this video. I'm just dead inside. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a fantastic day. Be gay. Do crime. I love you. Bye.